Hello friends, in this video we are going to learn spin quantum number. This spin quantum number is represented with the symbol ms. This spin quantum number represents the direction of spin of an electron. As we know, electrons are continuously revolving around the nucleus and each electron has a specific spin. The spin are of two types, one having upward direction known as upspin while other has downward direction known as downspin. The upspin electron has spin quantum number value plus 1 by 2 and downward or downspin electron has spin quantum number minus 1 by 2. In these two, only the change in sign is observed. Upspin has plus sign while downspin has minus sign and the magnitude is same. Let's understand this concept using an example of 3D orbital electron. So this is the 3D orbital. In this orbital, consider this first electron. Let's find out the all quantum numbers for this electron. There are four types of quantum number. First one is principal quantum number. Second one is azimuthal quantum number. Third one is magnetic quantum number. And last one is spin quantum number. The value of principal quantum number means value of this n can be calculated from this number. This number represents the value of n. Then second, the letter d orbital suggests the value of l. As we know, when l is equal to 0, it represents s orbital. When l is equal to 1, it represents p value. When l is equal to 2, it represents value for d. So, in this case, the orbital is d orbital, therefore the value of L is 2. So, I am writing these values for principal quantum number, the value is 3. For d orbital, the value of L is 2. I am writing this value 2. Then we have to find out the values of magnetic quantum number. As we know, the electron is located in this first orbital. This first orbital represents the ML value plus 2. Therefore, I am writing this value 2 here. And finally, we have to calculate the value of ms, means spin quantum number. In this case, the electron has up spin and for this up spin, the value is plus 1 by 2. I am writing this value plus 1 by 2 here. In this way, we can calculate these values of quantum numbers using this representation of an electron. Another point I would like to tell you that two electrons of the same atom can never have the same set of values for all the quantum numbers. This principle is known as Pauli's exclusion principle. Let's understand this concept using an example of 3D electrons. So this is the representation of 3D orbital. Here, I have added one electron, then second electron. So, let's calculate all quantum numbers values using this representation. Let's first calculate the value of principal quantum number. This value 3 in electronic configuration represents the value of n. I am writing for both cases the value as a 3 because electrons are belonging from the same electronic configuration therefore the value n is equal to 3 I am writing in these two cases. Then let's find out the value of L. So as I said earlier it can be calculated using this formula L is equal to 0 for s orbital, L is equal to 1 for p orbital and L is equal to 2 for d orbital. So, in this case, we are considering d orbital. 
therefore the value of l is 2 so i am writing for both cases the value 2 these values are same because the orbital is same then let's calculate the value of ml these values are calculated on the basis of values of azimuthal quantum number and in any orbital the values located above this orbitals plus 2 plus 1 0 minus 1 and minus 2 are called as ml values so for first electron this is the first electron and this is second electron for first electron the value is plus 2 i am writing this value plus 2 for first electron and in second case the value is plus 1 therefore i am writing the value plus 1 let's calculate the value of spin quantum number spin quantum number are of two types for upward spin the value is plus 1 by 2 and for downward spin the value is minus 1 by 2 in this case both electrons having upward spin therefore i am writing this value for ms so plus 1 by 2 for first electron and plus 1 by 2 for second electron in this way we can determine the all quantum number values so according to the statement we have made earlier two electrons of the same atom these two electrons are of the same atom having the same shell can never have the same set of values for all the quantum numbers as you see in this case the first value second value and third values are same for the second electron also so these values are same means three quantum numbers having the value same but this one plus two and plus one these two values are different and here the police exclusion principle can be verified thank you for watching this video